<laughs> okay, so we are here in Olympia, Washington. I'm with my vision coach, Jean, and I just wanted to talk for a minute about vision, uh, the overall concept of vision, because when I first started eating more and more raw foods, I noticed so many people weren't wearing their glasses. And, and I'd been wearing glasses for 30 years, and I thought, I wonder if this is possible. And I happened to hear Gene on a radio show, so I called him up, and one thing led to another, and it took me down this whole rabbit hole. I was thinking, oh my God, this is so much more than just my eyesight. And I started hearing people say things like, you know, talking about how the cheese ended up on their plate. They actually have to kill a baby animal to get that rented for the cheese and everything. And people have said, I don't want that to ruin my experience. I don't want to see that. And I heard those words, I don't want to see that. So I started talking to Jean about, what does this really mean? Is it just eyesight or is there more to it than that? What causes the blur to come in? The blur is caused oftentimes, Pamela, by not wanting to see something. Yeah. Especially nearsightedness. Because, like, when I first started uh, retraining my eyesight and learning how to see without glasses or contacts, my teacher told me, you don't see what's out there because you don't want to see what's out there. Right. And who would want to see some of the horrific things that most of us who are diving into food choices and we start to understand what it really took to get that on our plate it's awful to see and yeah. sensitive people really don't want to know what what it takes for that food to get on their plate right. well it's not common knowledge right it's been hidden from us yeah and it's more about making the the invisible visible it seems like half the people in this country are trying to suppress the truth and the other half, the people are trying to lift the veils of what's really going on. That's what we talk about the thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. That is a big, strong box. It's a tough box to think outside yeah. of, and so it's like a safe with only a few people knowing that combination. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so you know it now. So now you have the the um, opportunity to spread that, to share that with other people who are conscious. Right. Because we believe that there's a conscious awakening taking place on the planet now. And we believe that more and more people are going to start waking up. More and more people are going to stop subscribing to and supporting what you're talking about. Right. You know, the uh, animals being used and abused so that we can be fat. Right. And another thing I thought about recently is that how much of uh, the unawareness, like when we don't see one thing, like for example, when we don't want to see this thing, what other parts of our lives are we not seeing? What other parts that really would uh, behoove us to yeah. see yeah. are we blocking out because we've blocked out this other area?